hello, hello. This is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere. And we are returning to text based parsers again as we continue in the Zork timeline, this time beyond Zork. Yep, this is technically the fifth in the timeline. Our doom is sealed. Gail turned away from the window overlooking the great sea. The guild master nears the end of his final quest, she said softly. When he succeeds, for succeed he will, our power shall cease to be. Silence was unbroken for a long minute. Then a tiny voice near the door peeped. Forever? No, the old woman leaned forward on her staff. The age of silence will endure long. No one in this room can hope to outlive it. But our knowledge need not die with us if we act at once to preserve our priceless heritage. Wherein lies your hope, Yigail? demanded a salamander in the front row. What magic is proof against the death of magic itself? Gale's dry chuckle stilled the murmur of the crowd. You forget your own history, Gustar. Are you not author of the definite scroll on the coconut of Gwendor? A tumult of, of amphibious croaks and squeals drowned out Gustar's retort. Gale hobbled over to a table laden with mystical artifacts, selected a small stone and raised it high. The coconut is our only hope, she cried, her eyes shining in the stone's violet aura. Its seed embodies the essence of our wisdom. Its shell is impervious to the ravages of time. We must reclaim it from the implementors and hide it away before its secrets are forgotten. The shrill voice of a newt rose above the cheering. And who will steal the coconut from the implementors? He, sco he scoffed. You, Gail. The violet aura faded at his words. Not I, Orkin, replied Gail, shaking the lifeless stone and replacing it with a sigh. The fabric of magic is unraveling. We dare not rely on its protection. Another champion must be sought, an innocent, unskilled in the lore of enchantment, who cannot know the price of failure or recognize the face of death. Orkin squeaked. Well, squeak was more skeptical. Suppose your champion succeeds in this hopeless quest. What will become of the coconut? Yigail turned to face the sea once more. It will await the coming of a better age, she replied, her voice trembling with emotion. An age beyond magic, beyond science. Yeah, that uh, sounds very formidable. And quite lunacy in the realm of Zork. Beyond Zork, the Coconut Aquender, an interactive fantasy. Copyright 1987. Now, we have choices here. We can begin using a preset character. We can select a preset character. We can create our own or randomly generate. Well, and create. So we have to adjust our attributes. And I'm using a guide that recommends setting this first one to 30, the strength of 18, dexterity of 15. What? Uh, 
Okay, you know, I'll have to give it that. All right. Yeah, they are. Shall your character be male or female? Well, I'm a dude, <laughs> so I'm going to have to go with male. Finally, you must select a name for your character. By what name shall your character be known? Frank Booth. No, I'm not going to be Frank Booth. Given the surrealness that Zork can be, I'm going to choose an appropriate hero name. One I know is a hero. Joking. <laughs> is joking correct? Yes! Are you sure joking is the character you want? Yes. Do you want to save the character before you proceed? Yes. Joking. Now we have Okay, so we have text and we have a little map. The horizon is lost in the glare of morning upon the great sea. You shield your eyes to sweep the shore below where a village lies nestled beside a quiet cove. A stunted oak tree shades the inland road. And I can go east or I can go northwest. I'm going to go east. You amble down the hill. Gulls circle the far end of a wharf, extending east across the cove. The street is dotted with shanties bleached by years of sun and salt. I can go northeast, east, or south. I'm going to go east again. I'm at the wharf. Dank, fishy smells pre permeate this old wharf to its very bones. Far below, you hear the slurp of oily seawater against the piers. An old sailor is seated before an easel, dabbing color onto a canvas. Hmm. Let me look at this sailor. The old sailor is seated before an easel dabbing color. An old sailor's ice blue eyes glance up from his work. A movement draws your eye to the water where a piece of driftwood is bobbing on the waves. Oh. Well, uh, let's get the driftwood. The driftwood begins to float out of reach as you bend over the side of the wharf. You strain your arm lower towards the water. Lower. Got it. Found yourself a genuine shillelagh there, boy, remarks the artist as you shake off the seawater. Come in handy nowadays. I hope myself a shillelagh. Or a club. Can you imagine typing shillelagh every time? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So go west. Right. See you later, chuckles the salt as you walk away. Back to the cove, and now we're going to go south. Wheeled club. Wheeled club. You wheeled the shillelagh. That was nice. Okay, so we go south. I don't know if I got anything for that. 
outside pub, harsh laughter and mouth-watering aromas waft out of out from under the door of a shanty on the street's west side. The word, ye rusty lantern, a public house, appears in fading script above a real rusty lantern dangling from a hook. No. I know my way around Zork games. You need a light. You take the rusty lantern off the sign. Okay, so we're going to go north. And then we're going to go to the northwest. Northwest? No, go, go to northeast. That's northeast. This narrow path curves along the rocky ledge overlooking the sea. You press your back against the sheer cliff wall, trying not to hear the waves crashing on the rocks far below. An inscription is carved upon the face of the cliff. Well, what's that say? My times be long, my times be short. My times and ear, my first report. What am I? Oh, well. Long, short. Don't know off the top of me head. Let's go northwest. Tidal flats. The ocean smell is strong here, where a nameless brook meets the tidal flats of the great sea. One road follows the water inland. Another spans a bridge to the northeast. A white patch of brine is drying in the sun. Hmm. You take the bit of salt out of the patch of brine. Well, that's what brine is. All right, let's go northwest again. A footpath emerges from the shadow of a forbidding forest, curving southwest along the edge of a brook. Well, I'm going to be heading into something dangerous, I think, so I'm going to save. All right, so record one. I should have done this chance, though. Okay, that's better. All right, so here we go. Catapala. Your head brushes past the blossoms of a stately old catapala tree, home of many unseen songbirds. Okay. Can I get a stick? Can't see any stick here. Okay. Let's go northeast. You're shivering on the south edge of a broad chasm. Clammy mists chill the air and the ground trembles with the roar of a cataract. Your heart sinks as you inspect the crude rope bridge spanning the chasm. A notice hangs here near the bridge's entrance. Read notice. Zeno's bridge, cross at thine own risk. Okay. Well, I'm not crossing it. I'm going to go west here. Eerie corpse. A nameless blight has twisted the surrounding elms into sinister forms that creak and groan in the dry breeze. A cruel puppet is resting beneath a tree. A cruel puppet grins evilly when it sees you. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Damn that cruel puppet. 
northwest. Oh boy. The cruel puppet twists his body into an unflowery parody of your own. Your endurance went down. Uh oh. I got the scroll. Oh, get the stick. Get the stick. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm restoring. <sighs> All right, I have to avoid that birches. Okay. Got to avoid the pine grove. Oh, get rod. That works. Okay, we got away from the puppet that time. Ah, shit. Oh. Oh, my God. Your nightly habits are... Oh, God. Get stave. All right. We are ahead of the game here. North. Graceful series. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Got out of there. Oh my goodness. That was tricky. All right. Oh. So now I got to oh Oh, God. Okay. So we gotta get past this puppet. Oh, no. Okay. Here he copes. Okay, so far, no puppet. Uh-oh. Okay, I got the scroll. Okay, west. I gotta go. I have to leave the outskirts. Okay, the path before you leads away from the edge of a vast forest, meandering across the hills towards the northernmost outskirts of Girth City. Well, well, you know, we got to the safe spot. Whew, that was uh, lucky. I'll tell you that. Now we go southwest. This is the safer end of Girth City, no notorious market district. Shop windows are mostly unbroken here, and the cobblestones don't stick to your shoes. The garbled facade of ye old magic shop lends an air of Erzat's charm to the west side of the street. Your no endurance is back to normal. Thank you. Okay. Open door. Ah, the front door is wide open. As you open the door, 
A concealed bell tinkles merrily. Okay, let's go west. A lone black candle obscures the proportions of this windowless shop. The scent of tallow is strong, heightening the aura of arcane mystery. Your eyes are irresistibly Your eyes are irresistibly drawn to a glass display case near the open door. Another exit is partially concealed by a curtain. An old woman is eyeing you curiously. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's my inventory? You take stock of your possessions. You are carrying a shillelagh, a rumpled scroll, a rod, a bit of salt, and a rusty lantern. You're wearing a pack. You have one sortment. A financial nymph appears on your keyboard. By the way, you can check the amount of cash you're holding any at any time with the cash command, or just type dollar sign followed by return. Bye. Okay. Show rod to woman. Ah yes, a rod of levitation. Floats most anything that isn't nailed down. This used one's worth ten zork mids. Ooh, ten zork mids. Show scroll to old woman. To, well, to woman. I'm not going to say old. That's a scroll of fireworks, essential reading, used. It's worth about a zork bit. Oh. Okay, so obviously I didn't get, according to the guide, I didn't get the right items. So... Restore. Uh, restore. Now, north, west, south, west, north, get rod, south. Get scroll. Son of a bitch. Jesus. Okay, I got a staff and a scroll now. So let's, uh... Okay. Show staff to woman. Ah, staff of levitation floats. Ah, 
But not the right item. Show scroll. A scroll of recall. This is things. Ah, but I need to have either protection or ever aversion. Oh, great. Get stave. South. Damn! Well, that was easy. Open door. West. Show scroll. Show scroll! Ah, scroll of recall! Dave, sayonara. <sighs> I'm trying to get two specific items. Two specific items. Get scroll. Get stave. Okay. Show scroll to woman. Scroll of honing. Show stave to woman. Levitation. West. Rod. Okay. Door. Show Rod to woman. Rod of levitation. Mm. Oh, mischief. Okay. All right. Get lore. Scroll to woman. Protection. Didn't I say I had to find one of them? Well, I've got the scroll of protection. Show Rod to woman. Sayonara. Well, I wanted the scroll of protection. That's one of the things I needed. Thank you. Oh, man. And we're going to go east, and then we're going to go south. Reach the south market. South market. Both sides of this busy thoroughfare are crammed with stalls. Hawkers shout and gesticulate at passers-by. Their hoarse obscenities mingling with the smell of sweat and burning food. 
And I think at this point, we are going to save the game and call it an episode. Since we have avoid gotten through that forest and gotten at least one I am that this walk through wreck of beds. That should be a help. As always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere. Inviting you to subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other playthroughs I'm doing. I'm working through many games. I've worked through the previous the previously set Zork games. Uh, this is actually the sixth of eight Zork games out there. I am working my way through Whispers of the Machine, which is quite an interesting little game so far. And I'm doing that one blind. Mostly blind. I'm working my way through uh, the Indiana Jones series. I finished Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, so the next game is going to be... Uh, started when I get to it. I think that's uh, in Infernal Machine or Emperor's Tomb. I don't know. I can never remember which one it is. I'm working my way through Abe's Odyssey, New and Tasty, a delightful remake from the original, of the original. I'm working my way through, I do runs through the game of Monstrum, working my way through Outlast, working my way, well, I just recently finished the Space Quest franchise. Uh, from Sierra, and I'll be starting a different series or game when we come around to it. I'm not telling you which one it is yet. And I'm working my way through the Doom franchise, uh, following Doom Guy slash Doom Slayer, currently on Doom 64. All these videos premiere at 3 p.m. Eastern every day. And in the mornings, uh, from Tuesday to Saturday, I have videos premiere at 10 a.m., uh, Tuesday usually sees a fic reading, Wednesday usually sees a another game playthrough, Thursday is either a Dead by Daylight or Monstrum 2 run, Friday, it's our ever favorite fighting game day, which has been story mode, so f story mode, but I may be soon going into ladders should be interesting and Saturday is a retrospective for all the games I've beaten the main story mode on Ugh, pardon or a series so as always this is Rich Kale here on YouTube Rich Gen X elsewhere give this video a like subscribe to the channel and I greatly appreciate it and until next time have fun bye all